Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I share recipes every week. Um, sometimes we do dog food and sometimes we do dog treats. One of my favorite things about homemade dog food is that you can cater it to your dog's needs and you can make it as healthy as you can afford. If you want to buy all natural organic ingredients, you can absolutely do that. Um, you can change regular flour to wheat flour. You can add different vegetables and different fruits um, that maybe either will benefit your dog, something that's in season for you so it's a little bit cheaper, um, things like that. So I really enjoy making homemade dog food. I love the peace of mind that it gives me knowing that I know where my dog's food comes from and what ingredients go into it. Um, so I love homemade dog food, but I hear a lot from viewers that and readers of our site, Top Dog Tips, that you guys don't have the time to make homemade dog food. And I don't want you to feel like I'm judging you because that's what I, I think sometimes when people make comments um, that, you know, oh, she makes her own homemade dog food, so she's going to think that, you know, I don't want my dog to be healthy or um, anything like that. I completely understand. I am a mom. We have kids. We have three dogs, three cats. I have a husband who on some days is like having another child. Um, we're busy. I get it. I totally understand. Um, you know, I do have the benefit of working from home, but it's just that I work from home. I also work full time. So uh, we have a busy life and I completely understand that. I cannot believe it's taken me this long to share with you one of my biggest secrets about making homemade dog food, but here it is. It's right here. It's my crock pot. Um, I love my crock pot. I love it for family meals as well as for dog food. But I can't believe I'm just now sharing it with you guys. There are so many great crock pot dog food recipes. If you've never used a crock pot before, um, it's really easy. It's a slow cooker. Um, and, and the motto, I guess, of slow cookers is that you can set it and forget it. Um, you dump your ingredients in there, you set your timer, and it cooks the food while you're working, while you're out of the house, while you're just busy tending to your family, whatever the case may be. Sorry, we. Chloe is down here, our boxer. She knows that I'm making dog food and she wants to eat some right now. Uh, so anyway, the slow cooker, if you don't have one, um, they're fairly inexpensive to buy. I think you can pick one up at um, any big box store for probably under $40. Um, this is a slow cooker dog food recipe. This is a slow cooker um, beef and rice dog food recipe and I'm going to continue to share crock pot recipes with you guys um, but if you need more right away because you really love the convenience of it there are a bunch that you can find online um, and again I will be sharing these in the future so here it is and it is so 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 simple the hardest part of crock pot dog food recipes is the prep work um, it took me about 15 minutes to prep this stuff for this recipe. So, and that's literally all the time you're gonna have invested in this is the prep time. So, um, here we go. You are, first thing you're gonna do, um, I've plugged in my crock pot and it is set to um, low. And in this bowl, I have four cups of water. So I'm gonna add that in first, four cups of water. I have two and a half pounds of raw uh, ground beef here that I'm going to, I maybe should have put this in first so it didn't splash the water, but I didn't really think about that. And I'm just gonna kind of break that. Um, we buy our meat in bulk, so uh, it's this was frozen beforehand. It's unthawed now, but um, I, it's just in one big kind of clump. So I'm gonna go ahead and break that up a little bit. Okay, one can, um, I found these organic kidney beans. They were like $1.40 um, at our local grocery store. So very cheap. Um, and again, you can get those organic kidney beans. They don't have to be organic if you um, grow your own kidney beans or you find some at a farmer's market or you just buy them in the can that aren't organic. Um, that's fine, but these are the ones that I chose. So just kind of sprinkle those around. Um, and you want one can, um, a can is 15 ounces. So. Just one can will do it. I have two cups of brown rice. Again, I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle it around a little bit. And 
In this bowl, I have a cup and a half of raw uh, chopped squash. I chose zucchini squash. You can choose any kind of squash that either is in season or that you can find. Um, summer squash will work. When any winter squashes that you get um, will work as well. So just one and a half cups of um, raw squash. And again, I chose zucchini. In this bowl, I have one and a half cups of um, chopped raw carrots. And those are fresh um, and then I have a half a cup of peas now my peas are frozen um, I didn't have the time to um, grab some raw peas but frozen work just as well um, so half a cup of peas and one and a half cups of carrots Oops. and that's it that's how simple it is so you have everything in your slow cooker now um, you can mix it around just a little bit make sure you push those vegetables down into the water um, so they can soak that in and you're gonna cook this on low heat for five to six hours and you can stir it occasionally um, usually I only open it to stir it maybe twice while it's cooking um, but if you are going to work say uh, you can you don't even have to stir it you can just close the lid let it cook for the day while you're gone and when you come home you're going to have a crock pot full of dog food you can freeze this dog food if you want or um for to use like for weeks at a time or you can um refrigerate it you can put it in a sealed container put it in your refrigerator and it'll last you four days probably um i would say somewhere between three and five days It'll last in the refrigerator, but obviously this makes quite a bit of dog food. So if you want to go ahead and freeze it um, and use it for your dog later, that's fine. We have three dogs, so I never have a problem getting rid of food uh, and not having to freeze it. So um, again, super easy crock pot recipe. Dump in your ingredients, set your crock pot to low and let it cook five to six hours. If you're gone to work for eight hours, um, some crock pots like mine have a timer on them. Um, and that's really nice, but if yours doesn't, then that's fine. Uh, you can just let it go for the eight hours on low. It's not gonna hurt anything. Uh, it's just gonna be, it's gonna cook the food longer, so it might be a little bit mushier. Um, if you have somebody at home that can shut your crock pot off, that's great too, uh, but don't worry about it if you're gone for seven or eight hours. That's not a huge uh, deal. The other thing that you can do sometimes, or I do, if I have to leave in the morning and somebody's still home, uh, I'll throw the ingredients in there, throw the top on, and I just have them turn it on um, before they leave. If they leave, like say I'm going to be gone for eight hours, if they leave two hours after I do, they can turn it on before they leave and it'll cook for the six hours. So um, there's different ways to do it, but if you have to cook it for a little while extra, don't worry about that. That's the nice thing about a crock pot is that it's not going to uh, ruin your food. So Super easy. I'm going to be sharing more of these crock pot recipes. Um, again, if you guys want to find some crock pot, crock pot recipes online because you uh, want to make some food in advance or something like that and you don't want to wait for me, totally fine. Uh, share them with me. I would love to hear the recipes that you guys find. If you find some that work really great for your dog, um, crock pot recipes or regular recipes, whether they're food or treats, anything like that. I'd love to hear them. Um, if you have any questions about homemade dog food or um, this recipe in particular, you can get in touch with me through our website, which of course is topdogtips.com. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, uh, our YouTube channel. You might be watching that on there. Any way that you leave a comment, it'll get back to me. Um, if you share a recipe or things like that, um, you know, you can email me or share it on our Facebook page, um, share it on our website, and uh, other dog owners will be able to see that too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and for those of you that think you don't have time to make homemade dog food, 15 minutes worth of prep, and you can have a week or more's worth of dog food. So um, there absolutely is time for it, and I'm sorry that it took me so long to share a crock pot recipe, but um, I, I do understand that people are busy and that it's really hard to make food for your family, let alone food for your dogs too. So um, not your family, I shouldn't say that. Your dogs are part of your family, but food for the human members of your family. I know it's hard for me sometimes just to get dinner on the table for the kids and my husband, let alone um, you know, having time to make homemade food for our dogs. So if you struggle with that too, crock pot recipes are a great option. I will see you guys back next week with a dog treat recipe for you. Have a great week, guys.